All right, I wanted to start a new series of videos called What's on This Shelf, where I just basically go up to one of my shelves here, pick a shelf, and go through the books and talk about them. This is from The Horror Shelf. Uh, by the way, I built these shelves myself, and there's a video on how to build a shelf just like this right there. It's like one of the first videos I posted on the account. So let's go through here. First up, we got this cold blue light, Marvin K. and Park Godwin. Wonderful, wonderful reflective cover. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I read this one. It's great. It's a ghost story. There is a review of it uh, on YouTube, and it is really long and boring. It's one of my first reviews. So I'll put the link up there, but... <laughs> Probably, yeah, you could probably skip it if you want. Face maker William Katz, medical horror. I have not read this one. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> my stupid how my stupid arm. How are we gonna do this? Here we go from the bottom. Shinglo, Alex Kane. It's Vietnam horror. I think it's my only uh, horror book that has to do with Vietnam. Besides, you know, like regular Vietnam books, which is, which is horrific in its own way. I have not read that one either yet. The Devil's Cat. So what do we got here? Gravestone. This cat, he's got something in his paw. I should probably hold it in front of the camera. But it's all about that right there. Oh, that's amazing. It's mesmerizing. I haven't read any of, uh, of those yet. Uh, William W. Johnson is most famous for writing westerns. I have some of his men's adventure, a couple of horrors, and I have one western. Which, actually, the Western was really good. It's part of the Blood Bond series. Here's another insane one from William W. Johnston, <laughs> The Cat's Eye. Cat Baby. For all you cat lovers. K.W. Jeter, Mantis. My wife started reading this one, but she stopped. I don't know what page. Let's see if it's still in here. No, we took out the bookmark. She said it was uh, boring. But to be fair, she's not, she, she is a uh, low tolerance. Low tolerance for boring books. Me, I can just, I can keep going. Ruby Jean Jensen. Ruby, Ruby Jean Jensen. Lake. Pretty beat up copy. I haven't read that one. I did read this Ruby Jean Jensen, Night Thunder. It was awesome. Kind of got like a uh, Poltergeist 2 vibes to it. That was really good. There's not a review video of this one because it was before. I don't even think it's on the blog. But it was great. Then the last Ruby Jean Jensen, another reflective House of Illusions. Let's see if we can get the scary face. There we go. Kids, no, monsters. There's the kids. There's the kids. And then, <laughs> shit, I can't get the monsters. Whoa, are they turning their faces? I, no, we didn't just see that, did we? Their eyes are following us. Holy shit, that's creepy. Let's put that away before we get possessed. Zombie House, Martin James. It's the pinnacle. It's another book that my wife started and quit. I think she'll get to like page seven on this though. I think I took out all of her bookmarks. They used to be in all these books. She said, this is boring. I was like, Dude, you're, on, you're on like page seven. She said, I'm done. I'm done reading this. 
blood pack Tanya Huff. That looks uh, disturbing. Really beat up copy of Spawn by Sean Hudson. Uh, pretty famous there for paperbacks from hell. Just the author of Slugs. I have not read it. Keepsake, Paul Hudson. I like that black on black with the em embossed cover just sticking out. Can we get that? Is it a skull? That's cool looking. She Devil, Louise Horowitz. She came from hell to a town called Happiness. Big old fat medical, medical horror. The Dying, Leslie Horvitz. The Plague Gears are here. Man, I don't know. I tried to read Albert K. Moo's The Plague, and it was uh, it was tough to get through. I, I quit that one. So I don't know about a horror version of it, which, I mean, K. Moo's was kind of horror-ish itself. Oh man, do I need, to, I need to glue that back on there? Set that one aside. Well, we'll put it back in just for aesthetic purposes. I'll glue it afterwards. So we got the entry, Hans Holzer. Soon to be a major motion picture. That twisted lady, her twisted face. It looks kind of Japanese. Best-selling author of the Amityville Curse. I don't know about that one. Halloween, Gary L. Holman. I, did I read this one? The, these Halloween covers all look the same. Hold on. Okay, no, I have not read this one. I read some other pumpkin cover. I can't keep all the pumpkin covers straight. I did read this excellent Gary L. Holman, Demon Fire. Hawaii horror. You guys into Hawaii horror? Aloha, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Oh, it's got a postcard on the back. Aloha from Hawaii. The islands are great, but who'd have ever thought this tropical paradise was full of ancient gods, witches, and demons straight from hell. We're enjoying the sand, the sun, and the surf, but having evil spirits around can be murder. Dying to come home. Glad you aren't here. Oh, look, it's got a... Is that the bat from Thirst? Where's Thirst at? <laughs> Hold on, pause this video. All right, we found the cover of Thirst. Here's the cover for Thirst. All right. Where's our Demon Fire? There's Demon Fire. Huh? What do you guys think? Absolutely 100%. Interesting. They put out, look, they're put out by different publishers. Demon Fire is Leisure. Thirst is BMI. Isn't that weird? I wonder how that happened. I'm sure someone didn't get paid for it. Even more weird, it's directly below Demon Fire. It's a conspiracy. Book conspiracy you didn't even know what you were in store for. Dawn of the Vampire. I'm not usually into vampire books, but man, this cover is... Look at that. I've seen other people's copies of the book, and it's nowhere near as good as mine. Like, it looks faded, and the colors are just flat. They really bump the colors up on mine. This, I think this cover is a ripoff. And here we go again. Now I gotta find another book. Oh, what the hell was, I don't even remember the name of this one. So this is really gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, finally. So check this out. Another book conspiracy. Huh? 
dawn of the vampire deliver us from evil. Who is first? Guesses? Let's look. One's a bantam, one's a pinnacle. First we'll look at deliver us from evil. We got 1988. Oh, Dawn of the Vampire, it feels like it's from the 90s. Let's see. 1991. So it looks like uh, Dawn of the Vampire here. Took a little inspiration from Deliver Us From Evil. Just some light inspiration, you know, inspired by. Oh, we'll grab from the bottom. So we got The Midnight Tree, A Fairy Tale of Terror, Charles Higgum. I was so excited. I bought this off of Thrift Books. So I was so excited when I seen this. I just like the idea of a fairy tale horror book. The whole first chapter was nothing but this couple arguing, like for an entire, the whole beginning of the book. And I was just like, I don't want to fucking read this. I'm not in the mood for this. So I put it back. Unfortunately, I hope I get back to it. I hope it turns around. I don't know. We'll see. Doppelganger, Eric Higgs. This one was great. So we got, um, there's like a this guy and he has this kind of subconscious who, who goes out and does evil things. Is it him just, or is it really uh, an entity? We don't know. Here's another pumpkinish cover pranks. A girl with a hatchet in her head. Half pumpkin face. I have not read that one. Orca. Novel by Arthur Herzog. Poor killer whale. Swarm, also by Arthur Herzog. It's like he was into animals attack horror. This is the bees. It's the bees knees. The rats. James Herbert. Get no glare on there. There we go. Then we got two copies of Lair. I think I found them both at like uh, thrift stores. So this one it's, it would be great, but it's too dark. And then because it's all faded, it just looks crappy. This one's very 80s. It's embossed. But I don't know. Not, I don't think those are the greatest. Not the greatest covers. Sepulchre, James Herbert. Step back. No. And that's great. That, it is great that they put the... This little promo thing on the inside and not all over the cover. Of course, it does have the, the Stephen King blurb on the cover, but you know, it's a good old Stephen King. He's happy to throw a blurb out. Spear, James Herbert. Neo-Nazi cultists and unholy demonic powers strike out from the evil past to claim the future. Evil Nazis. Good stuff. A Taste of Honey, HF Herd. I think it's supposed to be like a old ectoplasm picture. It's old school, old school horror. Lancer. Where is this from? It smells like 67. Oh, 1941. Wow. Let's hold it up, huh? 1941. Interesting. Lee Hawks, Night, Winter, and Death. It's not the wind that's howling, the beast is on the loose. I don't think it's a werewolf, though. It just looks like an angry snowman. Night, Winter, Death. Big old fat one. Little Brothers, Rick Hatula. The size of that sucker. Man, what was going on in the 80s? Killing me. 
It's like 10, 10 of the normal books that I read. Zebra, zebra books. And then lastly, another Rick Hatula, Moon Death. Oh, look, a Stephen King blurb. You don't see that very often. It's a cat, cat man. Is that what's going on here? I don't know, just a creature from the past, someone's past. It's a moon death. So there you go, that was this shelf. Uh, thanks for like watching and stuff and maybe watch another video. Hit on like, not interested, you know, do your thing.